we are from F45 Blackwood Creek and Southgate and we're here to take you through our Empire workout today. Empire is a cardio based workout. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. You're going to do six, um, sorry, one combo set of six exercises three times through. So it goes to A to B and you're going to do that three times through on each one. All right, we've got 12 exercises for you today and here's what they are. So number one, you're going to do three frog squats and then four plyometric lunges. Okay, so over and over for that 15, sorry, 45 seconds, 15 seconds of work. Uh, station number two is a push-up jack. So you're gonna do your push-up, and at the bottom of your push-up, your feet go out at the bottom. Okay, so getting nice and low, keeping that core tight all the way through. Station number three, you are doing the forward and reverse jump. So big jump forward, and the big jump back. Back and forth, all the way through. All right, station number four, you are doing a moving plank. So you're gonna start on your elbows and you're gonna come up onto your hands, back down. So you wanna keep your core nice and stable all the way through so you're not twisting your hips too much as you're moving, you're using those abs and you can definitely go from your knees if you need to. Station number five, you're doing a dynamic bound lateral sprint. So using your arms and just really pushing through that one leg as you're going side to side. Station number six, you are doing um, 10 high knees, sorry, and five drop squats. So shoulders back, core tight, and then five quick little drop squats. Get that bump nice and low. Keep your head up, keep your chest up all the way through. Station number seven, you're doing a burpee. So belly to the ground, and then when you come to the top, you're gonna do a 180 degree jump, and then back to your burpee. All right, station number eight is an A-step clap. So get that knee up nice and high, and you're clapping underneath your legs. Station number nine, you are doing a static lunge pulse. So shoulders back, core tight. You're gonna stay on that same leg all the way through. Drive through that heel on each rep. And station number 11, um, sorry, 10, squat. You're gonna do a squat midpoint forward lunge. Okay, so you're stepping forward, you're staying low, you're getting your back knee nice and low to the ground all the way through. Okay, now 11, you're gonna do a four point hold to 180 degree turn. So four point hold, your knees are close to the ground, core is nice and tight, and you're gonna do a 180 degree turn so your hand comes all the way over, and then you come back to that 180 degree turn, and you're gonna flip sides. So nice and slow and controlled, lots of core there. And number 12, you are doing five pulse squats to five heel clicks. So nice and low on those five pulse squats, and then up for five heel clicks, back and forth. So this is all body weight. You don't have to use any weights today, and you will still get a very good workout Heart rate will be up all the way through. So let's do a quick warm up. You're gonna do a high knee punch, um, and sorry, high knee punch combo. <laughs> Shoulders back, core tight, can't jump. Star jumps. So we'll get you a good warm up so you're ready for your cardio workout today. Good way to try F45, try what all of our workouts are all about. Shuffle abduction. So with our workouts, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is cardio-based workouts. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday is strength-based workouts. And Saturday is a hybrid. So we're on to mountain climbers here. Hybrid on Saturdays of Hollywood, we call it. And it's an hour long workout of a combination of strength and cardio. Side to side lumbar twist. So lying on your back, drop your knees side to side. Hip thruster, drive through your heels, raise your glutes nice and high, engage and use that core. Stretch. Gina 
grab your toes, you're gonna drop your bum, raise up nice and high, and drop down nice and low. Get a good stretch all the way back up the legs. Jump twist. some music we're not playing music just so that we don't get taken down off YouTube but if you want to play some music feel free we're gonna lead you all the way through last one is burpees here otherwise you'll just have to go with some hush breathing <laughs> here. So because it's cardio based, push hard. Uh, give it all you got. Focus on what you're doing. And here we go. So three frog squats and right into four plyo lunges. If you can't jump, you can also just do a step back so you don't have to jump. You can just step as well, depending on what works for you. So you want to push yourself to your own ability, challenge yourself. So if you're feeling like you can jump, then jump. If you feel like you can't, that's fine too. You can just do what you can. The idea here is again, getting that heart rate up nice and high, burning those legs out on this one. I have a feeling we're gonna feel lots of legs, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we get a 15 second break. You can shake it out a little bit. And then we are going into push-up jacks. So our exercise number two. Good, remembering to exhale as you push up in that push-up. Keeping those hips back. And exhale on that way up. If you're going from your knees, here's the modification. So you're gonna go from your knees, you're gonna do your push-up, you're gonna come to the top, out into your plank jack, back to your knees, for your push up. 20 seconds. So just get as low as you can. Think about your core, think about your chest. Doing good, guys. Almost there. And rest. going to forward and reverse jump. Here we go. Landing on those heels. Drive forward. You can add a squat in there if you want. Get that bum down. Unless you just want to make it a jump. And now again, if you can't jump, you're going to do a step forward. You can add that squat in there. Step back. Add that squat. Guys, that's it. Keep it going. Keep that chest up. Nice. Shoulders squeeze together. Breathe through it. Almost there. Last couple. Good job. Awesome. All right. So, moving plank. So, elbows and either toes or knees. Starting on your elbows, and you're going to go up onto your hands and right back down. You want to try not to twist your body too much. You want to keep your hips nice and stable. Keep that core engaged all the way through. Again, breathing through it as well. And on this set, if you're leading with your right all the way through, then on the next, you're going to want to start with your left just to switch it up. Or you can do one up with your right and then one up with your left, alternating on each rep. Again, you can go from your knees if you need to on this one as well. Good job. 
job, guys. Perfect, all right. You're doing a dynamic sprint bound lateral next. So shoulders back, get that knee up, and use those arms. So you're going laterally and switching back and forth. Good job, guys. That's it. Awesome. Keep those shoulders back. Keep your head up. Keep your chest up. Nice work. Doing good, guys. Keep pushing. 15 seconds. If the jumping is bugging you, you're just going to step it out laterally, sideways. That works too. Bringing that knee up is what gets the heart rate up. All right, burpee, nope. 10 high knees and five drop squats. So again, high knees are getting those uh, heart rate up again. So keep your shoulders back, keep your core tight. 10 of those and five drop squats. Here we go. Option. Guys, again, if you, yeah, if you want to step, that's fine too. Do what you feel comfortable doing. On that wave and that heel. Almost there. Awesome. All right, a step clap. No, burpee 180 degree jump. I keep going one ahead of myself. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so you're gonna do your burpee, and you're gonna do a 180 degree jump, and then right back into your burpee. Here we go. Belly to the ground if you can. Up, twist, right back down into your burpee. If the belly to the ground burpee doesn't feel great to you, you can just put your hands down, kick your feet out, kick your feet in, and back up. Make sure. If you're doing belly to the ground that you're not doing the worm on the way up, you want your body to all come up at the same time so you're not utilizing a specific part of your body more than another. Woo! Okay. Good job, guys. Almost there. Okay, those hands above your head as you twist. Awesome. Yeah. All right, now it's a step clap. Just getting ahead of myself. Okay. All right, so that knee goes up and you're clapping underneath your knee every time. Here we go. So again, you can step this one out if you need to. You can't do that jump in there. back slightly, engaging that core. Good job guys, that's it. You got 12 seconds. Almost there. Shoulders back, one foot forward, one foot back. Get that back knee nice and low. And again, driving all your weight to that front heel and just staying low all the way through. So it's not a full range of motion. It's a very short range of motion and pushing through that front heel, keeping that core engaged. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Up nice and tall. Feel those ones. Yeah. It's a good one. Nice work, guys. That's it. Drive through that front heel all the way through. You want to try not to bounce too much. You're using the muscles in your leg and you're not using momentum. Awesome. You got six seconds. Whew. All right. Good job. Whew. Feeling that. We 
are going to uh, squat, midpoint, alternating forward lunge. So you're going to do your squat, step forward into that lunge, stay low all the way through. So you're never standing up, getting that squat in, back knee, right to the floor. Engaging that core, keep those shoulders back. Good guys, that's it. Stay low on those squats. Almost there. Awesome, nice work. All right, four point hold to 180 degree turn. So in that four point hold, your back is nice and flat. I'm gonna show you from the side. Knees are close to the floor, back is flat. Um, and then you're just twisting over, back to that four point hold, and twisting to the other side. So it doesn't have to be fast. You want to think about your core on this one. You want to get that pause when you're back in that four point hold so that you're using your legs, using your core, using your shoulders. Awesome job, guys. Almost there. 10 seconds. Keep going. Keep that thumb up. Good job. All right, and our last one, until we do it two more rounds, is five pulse squats and five heel clicks. So stay low on those pulse squats. Hold for five. Again, shoulders back. Good work, guys. Doing awesome, guys. That's it. Those legs have got to be burning by now. But you got it. Finish strong. Try not to stop before that buzzer goes. All the way to the end, you're almost there. And rest, okay, we have a quick hydration break of 50 seconds. Grab a drink, take a break, shake out those tight muscles. We're gonna do that all over again. Good job, guys. Yeah, so by now you should be feeling um, you know, a little windy, a little tired. Legs are burning. Legs are burning. And you just know that you have two more rounds. No big deal. You got this. Now you know what the exercises are. You can focus on doing your best in each set. All right, guys, we're going in five seconds. We are doing three frog squats and four plyometric lunges. Here we go. Elbows on your knees, raise your bum, drop your bum for three and then four lunges. Awesome, drop that bum really low every time, drive through your heels on those frog squats, get your back knee nice and low on those lunges. Nice and slow and controlled. Thinking about your chest, 
think about getting your chest as low as you can. And you want to think about your chin to the ground, not your forehead. When you do a push up and your forehead goes to the ground, you're going to round your back automatically. If you're thinking chin to the ground, you're going to get your chest nice and low and use the proper muscles. Almost there, guys. Last couple. Four seconds. Push right to the end. Good job. Nice work, guys. For your reverse jump. All right. Catch your breath quickly. It's 15 seconds in between. Here we go. everything nice and tight, making sure there's no arch in your back. Doing good guys, try not to twist those hips too much, keep your core nice and stable all the way through, abs engaged and bum down. Last couple. Shoulders back. Doing good, guys. Almost there. Nine seconds. Right till you hear that buzzer. Nice good job. All right. Ten nineties. Five drop squats. Keep those shoulders back. Keep that core tight all the way through. Get that bum nice and low on those drop squats. Here we go. Ten. One thing I did ten squats. Use your arm. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> okay. It's only five squats. I just wanted to do two. Three, four, five. Good job, guys. Last 10 seconds, you got it. Coming down on those heels, pushing that bum back. Nice work. All right, burpee to an 180 degree jump. The fun ones, everybody loves burpees. Here we go. Option if you don't want to do the burpee, do a jumping jack, twist, squat, jack, twist, squat. And you're down into that burpee. Try to get belly to the ground every time. Keep pushing. You got it. If you count how many burpees you can get in in 45 seconds, 
and you can try to beat your number every round. It's a good little incentive to keep pushing hard all the way through that workout. Nice work, guys. Good push. All right, a step clap. Are you tired yet? Getting there. Yeah. Birthdays, they get you, right? Option, take that jump out. Good work, guys. Doing good. Think about your core on everything you're doing. If your core is engaged, you're going to feel stronger in everything that you're doing. You also want to be conscious of your breathing. So thinking about breathing, not holding your breath on the exercises. Leaning back slightly, driving that knee up. Awesome. All right, a static lunge pulse. So this is where you have to remember what leg was forward last time. So now you're gonna do the other leg. So if you were right forward last time, now you're gonna do left forward, shoulders back, core tight, back knee nice and low. And you're just doing a pulse. Again, rotate those shoulders back. All of that weight in that front heel. Feeling the burn. Yep. Feeling it. Good work, guys. That back knee nice and low. All the way through. That front heel hits the ground. Making sure your knee's not going over top of your toe. Keep feeling that front glute. Oh, almost there. Ooh, nice work. Shake it out. Good job. All right. Squat midpoint alternating forward lunge. So staying low in that squat and a lunge forward. Get your back knee nice and low to the ground again. Here we go. shoulder blades squeeze together, coming down on that heel. Good work, guys. Try not to stop through that whole 45 seconds. 20 seconds. You got this. Doing good, guys. We're almost there. Legs are burning. Keep breathing. Last couple. Good job. Awesome. All right, four point hold with 180 degree turn. Okay, so keep that core engaged, back nice and flat. Keep your hands under your shoulders and then you're twisting. Keeping those hips up, squeezing those glutes. Doing good guys, that's it. Nice and slow and controlled. Focus on your core. Doing good. Almost there. Last couple. Hip steps. Good work. All right, and five pulse squats and five heel clicks. Round two. All right, so stay low on those pulse squats for five. And then five heel clicks. Nice work. that weight in those heels and that pulse, chest up. Nice work guys, you got it. If the uh, heel clicks 
are too much with the jumping, you could also just do your five pulse squats and then stand to the top, back down to your five, and then stand to the top. All right, we have another hydration break. Good job, grab a drink, take a break. And we've got one more round of this, our third and final round. You got this. You got this. <laughs> Good guys, how's those legs? You're gonna feel them by the end of this round. Doing good. Good job. All right, push up jacks. Again, remembering on those knees, if you have to push up, up, and just tap, tap. All right, here we go. Last set of these. Give it all you got. Squeezing that chest. good guys think about your chest think about your core chin to the ground breathe through it don't hold your breath on those push-ups you have 10 seconds last couple First jump. All right, here we go. Again, step it out if you need to. If that jump doesn't feel good to you, step forward out of squat. Good work, guys. Expand all that weight in that heel. Chest up nice and tall. Good guys, keep pushing, that's it. You got it. Again, try to get to that 45 seconds. Don't stop unless you absolutely have to. Burn it out. Almost there. Nice work. Moving plank, dynamic plank, so elbows to your hands. So this time, if you did right on one time, left on the other, now you gotta switch back and forth to make it even. Here we go. Or if you were rotating, just rotate. Good work guys, keep those hips square. should be directly under your shoulders as you're pushing up. Core engaged, bum down nice and low. 10 seconds, almost there. Squeeze those glutes tight. Good job. All right, dynamic sprint, lateral bound. Getting close, guys. Doing awesome. Here we go. Good 
nice work. Keep that core engaged all the way through. Abs tight, shoulders back. Knee up nice and high. You got it, guys. We're almost there. 10 seconds. Last couple. every minute. Keep pushing guys. Don't stop. Do that 45. You got it. Last round. Here we go. 10 high knees and five drop squats. Again, leaning back, lifting those knees nice and high. Good push, guys. That's it. Right to the end. Keep it going. Almost there. Last couple. Awesome job. Nice work, guys. All right. A burpee. The 180 degree jump. My last set of burpees. Are you doing that jack with that rotation with that spot? Here we go. We're here, here. Doing good, guys. That's it. Push hard. Right to the end. You got it. Last couple. 14 seconds. Finish strong. tight, keep those shoulders back, drive through that front heel all the way through. You got it guys, almost there, keep pushing, shoulders back, burn those legs out. You got it guys, last couple, use those glutes, you got it. Awesome. Job. All right, squat midpoint with an alternating forward lunge. Three exercises to go, guys. You've got it. Nice, quick 45 minutes. Here we go. Stay low in that squat. Good job. 
awesome. Back knee nice and low, shoulders back, core nice and tight. You got it, looking good. Keep pushing. Almost there guys, last few, five seconds to go. Awesome job, good job guys. I stop before the buzzer, don't do that. I stop before the buzzer. No. <laughs> All right, four point call to the 180 degree turn. All right guys, we're getting close. One more exercise after this one. Keep those hips up. Really engage your abs, especially when your hips are up high. Tighten them up. Get those knees low to the ground when you go back into that four point hold. Engage your quads, engage your core. Almost there guys, you're doing great. Keep pushing, last couple, get them in. Exercise. Don't stop till that buzzer goes. You got it. Burn it out. Legs should be burning. Heart rate should be up. You should be sweating. Doing awesome, guys. Finish this workout strong. Don't stop. 10 seconds to go. Last couple. Feeling great. All right. Good job, Kim. Nice work. High five. High five. All right, guys. So that is F45. That is one of our cardio days. Empire. Like I said, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is cardio. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday is strength. Saturday is a combo of both. Um, so we are starting this Friday. We're starting our live um, workouts. So you can join our live workouts. You just have to contact the studio um, or you can go on our website and you can join from there. Um, and what it is, is a daily workout, just like what you did. Some days will be, um, most days will be no equipment, but we'll have the option to add equipment um, if you have equipment at home. So if you have equipment, you can use it. If you don't have equipment, you um, are still gonna get an awesome workout with our F45 live workouts. Um, so contact us for more details. We also have, starting January, our 21 day shred, which is 21 days um, of workouts um, for $69, you get an in-body scan, which is valued at $120. So that's, there's your cost right there. Um, you get a personalized program, you get a consult with your trainers. Um, so you are going to see your results that you are looking for in 2021. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. You killed it. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you in the studio soon. Yeah. Good job guys.